Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I'm letting social media accounts decide what I eat for 48 hours. Yes, 48 hours, not 24. There were so many places that I wanted to go to that I couldn't condense it into 24 hours. So we are going all out today. Well, all out today and tomorrow. <laughs> so I actually am at Cinnabon for stop number one. So I feel like I always go to the the same few places for breakfast and I really wanted to switch it up a bit. So let's check out Cinnabon's Instagram. Okay, so what's this one? Okay, so that's an April Fool's joke. I just tried to smell this picture. Snag a Cinnapack for Sunday. Okay, that's a whole pack of Cinnabons. We're not gonna do that. Um, it looks like, ooh, that looks good. It's for St. Patrick's Day, but it looks like they're Bond Bites and some kind of churro milkshake or something. I'm going to have to look that up, but we're going to go with this picture because those look delicious. It is about a half an hour later because I went in there and apparently they had a fiasco this morning, so they had nothing ready to go. So the Cinnabon's actually in a mall. And so I went and walked around the mall for <laughs> a little while waiting for them to be done. So I got the Bond Bites, but they couldn't make the churro culotto, which I'm really bummed about because that looked so good. So I'm going to have to come back here at some other point and try that for a video because honestly, I was more excited for that than the Bond Bites. But it is what it is, but these are super hot and fresh. She didn't even want to put the cover on because she's like, the, the icing's going to melt. But I'm like, it is a pouring outside. <laughs> Okay, those look delicious. They're like little bite-sized cinnamon buns. Okay. Mm. Worth the wait for sure. <laughs> Okay, these are literally so hot and so fresh and I love the size of them oh. mm -hmm. I actually prefer this over the normal size cinnamon buns they're just like so easy to eat and every bite is just like so soft <laughs> I wish I had, oh, she gave me a fork, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was in the middle of saying I wish I had a fork so I could scoop up all the icing and I do. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I am super bummed that I couldn't get the churro culotta because I feel like the two of them together would have been so good, like the perfect breakfast, but the Bond Bites were still a 10 out of 10, so I will see you guys for lunch. Okay, as you can probably tell by the yellow window, I am at Popeyes for lunch, so let's go check out their Instagram and see what we're getting. love that chicken from Popeyes okay what is the first thing on here practicing pickup lines with my new honey no lines needed to pick up these honey lemon pepper wings oh okay well it looks like most of these are videos and those are new so let's see if they have them they're probably really good so let's go hop in line okay i got my food okay this is what they look like honey lemon pepper 
Oh, you can definitely smell the pepper on them. I feel like I thought they were going to be saucier, but maybe the sausage is on the bottom. And I also got ranch to dip them in. I almost forgot to get ranch. I don't actually, I don't really even know if ranch is going to be good. Honey, lemon, pepper. Should I try it by themselves first? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um, okay. Let's try one without ranch first, just in case. This is what it looks like up close. They look very crispy and very saucy. Whoa. That is a lot of flavors going on. I don't really get much lemon flavor. It has a kick to it. You can definitely taste the pepper. But I don't really get any lemon. I love the crunch on them though. Yeah, these are really good. Wow. Okay, let's try this one with ranch. I honestly don't even think that it needs sauce, like a dipping sauce. It alone has a really good flavor. Yeah, no, mm -mm. it's better without it. Can you see the steam? <laughs> coming off of this or hear the crunch I don't think I've ever had wings this crispy before in my life mm. okay well if you're a fan of lemon pepper wings but also love that like sweet and spicy like twist You'd probably really enjoy these. I didn't get the lemon flavor at first, but the more I eat them, the more I definitely taste like that lemon flavor. And then you have like the sweetness from the honey, spiciness from the pepper. There are a lot of flavors going on. But I really like this. Okay, so all in all, I'd probably give them like a 9 out of 10. I typically am not really a fan of lemon pepper wings, um, but they're really good. I just won't give them a 10 out of 10 because I do like the sweet and spicy ones better. But if you love lemon pepper wings or you just like that combination of sweet and spicy, you'd probably really enjoy them. So if you give them a try and you like them, let me know. But I am full for now, so I will see you guys soon for dinner. Okay, it is dinner time and I'm actually at Arby's because Arby's is pretty far away from me, but I'm working like down the street from it today. So I thought it was the perfect time to come here for dinner. So I'm on their Instagram and... What is this? Okay, we don't want that. Don't talk to me until I've had my beef and cheddar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Isn't that roast beef? I don't like roast beef. Okay, well, I have heard some of you say that Arby's roast beef is, like, the best. So, maybe we'll try that. And then we need a drink. Ooh, what is this? How to become a Jamocha shape? Shake? <laughs> Why did you swipe? LOL, funny, good one. <laughs> okay, um, that sounds good though because I didn't get the churro chilada from Cinnabon. So let's try this. We can still get a milkshake because I love milkshakes. Okay, I think we're just gonna get that, but I'll probably make it a meal so I can get their fries too. Okay, I will hop in line and see you guys in a second. <laughs> guys. <laughs> They can't make milkshakes. Like, you cannot make this up. I am 0 for 2 for the milkshakes for today. 
<laughs> oh my gosh okay so i ended up just getting the beef and cheddar with their curly fries they have crinkle cut fries now did you guys know that okay so we got curly fries they asked me if I wanted Arby's sauce, so I said sure, but I don't know what this is. In my defense, I haven't been to Arby's since I was like literally a kid because the one close by to where my house is closed down when I was young. So <laughs> I don't know what that is, but okay. Okay, there is sauce on, Ooh. there is sauce on this. Okay, this is their beef and cheddar. Is there cheddar cheese? Oh yeah, there is, okay. <laughs> oh, and then I ended up, I almost forgot. I got a strawberry lemonade because I wanted, still wanted a drink and uh, I was like already at the window and they said they didn't have shakes and I couldn't get Instagram to pull up so I just grabbed that, but okay, let's take a bite. Okay, this is actually good. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> for everybody that came at me for not liking Roy Rogers roast beef, you could not tell me that this doesn't look a million times better. That roast beef from Roy Rogers it didn't even look <laughs> like human food. <laughs> Is this sauce on Arby sauce? Whatever it is, it's so good. Mmm. I think I actually like the bites without the cheese better. The cheese tastes like nacho cheese, but like not spicy. But it's like a cheese sauce, not actual slice of cheese. Mm. Okay. Maybe I don't hate roast beef. <laughs> Okay, we have the curliest curly fry I think ever. <laughs> Holy moly, look at this. <laughs> mm. I feel like Arby's fries taste very similar to Checkers fries. These are good. The only thing that would have made this meal better is if I had a milkshake. <laughs> milkshake and fries. It's like a match made in heaven. Then again, I don't think there's anybody that likes milkshakes more than I do. <laughs> Orlando calls me like a milkshake fiend. <laughs> I love them. What can I say? Ooh, there's a lot of strawberry sauce. All right, let me mix this around a little bit. <laughs> That's good. You know what reminds me of? Wendy's strawberry lemonade. Wendy's strawberry lemonade just tastes like so good and so fresh and refreshing. That's how this tastes. Mm. This is like the perfect thing to get on a really hot, sunny, summery day. Although obviously it's really good right now. I just feel like lemonade just like hit different when it's hot and sunny out. Okay, well on that note, I'm going to wrap up dinner. 
I might get dessert tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to have a chance to. It depends on what time work ends tonight. So I will either see you guys for dessert or I will see you in the morning. It is the morning. I wasn't able to get dessert last night. I didn't get out of work until like 10, 30, 11. So everything was closed by the time I left. But I'm gonna try and stop there at some point today uh, so I can still try what I was intending on trying. But anyway, I am at McDonald's for breakfast. Um, I'm really hungry, so I hope I can get something good. Um, okay, so we got a screen record. McDonald's accounts. Let's see. Okay, well, there's definitely no breakfast on here. Hmm. Um, for you, Paige. What's this? Okay, I already tried these. Oh no. <laughs> Am I not gonna be able to get breakfast? What about McDonald's breakfast for the for you page? Let's see. Ooh, what is this? Never met a chicken biscuit I didn't like. Have you heard? McDonald's added a McChicken biscuit and McChicken griddle to their breakfast menu. Ooh, I love chicken. Okay, let's go try them. Okay, I got my food. Ooh, I can smell the syrup on it already. I've never had a chicken McGriddle before. Yo, that's probably bomb because I like the sausage McGriddle and I don't even like sausage and I love chicken. So it's probably so good. Okay, and then we have the chicken biscuit. I've had Wendy's chicken biscuit. I tried that pretty recently. So I wonder which one will be better. <laughs> Let's try the McGriddle first because this just looks so good. Mm. Wow, this is delicious. It's like a twist on chicken and waffles. Mm. Okay. I feel like my pancakes are a little undercooked <laughs> but the flavor of this is a 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. wow if you like McDonald's chicken and their McGriddles and you've never tried this, go try it. The flavor of the chicken and the flavor of the pancakes just complement each other so nicely. Wow. Okay, the chicken biscuit. Mm. It is good. It's a little bit dry, I feel like. Yeah, I totally should have ordered some honey with this. If I put honey on top of this, it would have been a 10 out of 10 for sure. But because it's like a thin piece of chicken, it's like not like a juicy piece, you know. Plus it's McDonald's. <laughs> the biscuit has a really nice flavor too and the biscuit's really buttery. But just like the chicken with the biscuit, it's kind of just like heavy and dry. I do like the flavor of it, but the chicken McGriddle, honestly, was just a hard act to follow. I'd probably give this like a 7 out of 10. 
It is another cold and rainy day here in Jersey. Where is spring? The groundhog didn't see his shadow. So wasn't it supposed to be like an early summer, or an early spring? I mean, I know that's like not like real, but. Well, breakfast was so good. I would definitely get both of them again. The chicken McGriddle was better, but that's just because it already has like that syrupy flavor to it. So you have like that sweetness and then the saltiness and then it's like not dry because of like the texture of the pancakes. The chicken biscuit was really good, but I keep forgetting to order honey with biscuits. I have to start remembering because I know for a fact if I got honey with it, it would have brought it to the next level, but it was still really good. I ate the whole thing. <laughs> it is still really early, so I will see you guys later for lunch. Okay, so I'm actually at Crumble for a little morning snack. So I was gonna come here yesterday for dessert, but I couldn't because they were closed by the time I got off work. And I had to get dog food, which is literally like around the corner from Crumble. So I'm like, oh, I'll just come here now. I'm gonna check out their TikTok because I've only done Instagram so far. Um, I'm assuming whatever is on here will be their cookies of the week, but truthfully, I don't really pay that much attention to social media, so I don't even know what their weekly cookies are. But let's go on TikTok and search Crumble. And see what they got. Ooh, key lime pie, what? When I was little, my family would go to Rocking Horse Ranch and they used to always have key lime pie as dessert. But I like never got it since, like as an adult, I've never gotten it. Um, but yeah, so that sounds really good. That's like nostalgia. And then the rest of these all look good. So I guess I'll get a four pack of just the cookies of the week and give them a try. Okay, you guys, we are soaked. Do you see how wet these cookies are? I tried to protect them with my jacket. I'm sure the inside, um, like the actual cookies aren't wet, but yo, it is coming down right now. Okay, these are the cookies. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Wow. All right, I'm gonna make a TikTok at the same time, I think. Um, Cause these look so good. <laughs> Kill two burns with one stone, so bear with me. Oh my gosh, this is the key lime pie and it is heavy. Like this weighs probably like five pounds. Holy moly. This looks so good. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It tastes just like a key lime pie. And this is like so like such a good consistency. Mm. The crust is so good and it really has like such a strong lime flavor. Oh my gosh. The best thing they came out with in a long time. 10 out of 10. Okay, this is the raspberry butter cake. It's pretty heavy too. Uh, it is a warm cookie and it's like very soft. Like it is trying to break on me. <laughs> All right, let's give it a bite before it breaks. Mmm. <laughs> wow. This is also so good. This one's an actual cookie. But the cookie has such good flavor. It's like so buttery and sweet, but not too sweet. And that raspberry jam on top is absolutely delicious. If I hadn't just had the key lime pie, I'd probably give it a 10 out of 10, but I do like the key lime pie just a little bit better. So nine out of 10. This is the oatmeal skillet cookie. This is, this is also a hefty cookie. Oh my gosh. Mm. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, this one is also so good. <laughs> These are all delicious this week. I'm going to give it another 9 out of 10. Can't give it a 10 out of 10 because that healing pie is just out of this world. But it is still so good. Lastly is the cookies and cream. I'm pretty sure I've tried this one before. And I liked it, but I didn't love it. It's definitely the lightest out of all of them, but it's still a massive cookie. <laughs> like the size of my head. Mm. I have tried this. It's like a wannabe Oreo flavor, but it's not quite. So it's kind of like bitter. I don't really love that one. Probably about like a six out of ten. But this key lime pie is out of this world. If you're going to go to crumble this week, you need to try this. Mm. So good. Okay, it is a lot later because I've just had a migraine on and off like all week from this weather. It has been killing me. So I went and took a really long nap to try and feel a little bit better, which I do. But it's a little bit past lunchtime. It's like 3 o'clock, but that's okay. I am starving and I'm at Chipotle. So I really don't come here for videos much, but the Chipotle with a drive through has finally opened. So I thought it was the perfect time to come here because I'm kind of getting over fast food um which i mean i know chipotle is but i feel like it's like a little different um but okay so let's pull up their instagram account the reception Oh, come on. Uh, has been so bad today because, oh, here we go. The, this weather is just like, <laughs> I think it's messing with the cell phone reception and it's like the worst freaking time for me to do this video because I sit here for like 10 minutes at each place trying to get things to load. But what is this? Okay, that's not real. Cowboy, chicken, white rice, pinto beans, fajita veggies, mild salsa, medium salsa, guac, and a side tortilla. It says burrito bowl in big letters. Why is there a side tortilla though? If it's a burrito bowl, that's weird. Also, why are there two eyes in every word? Kind of confused. Okay, well, we're going to get that. Um, hopefully, I can order it through the drive-thru because it is just torrential outside and I am, like, soaked. <laughs> you can't tell because I don't have my jacket on, but my jacket is, like, wet now. Like, the inside of it is wet from it being rained on so, so many times today. So, let's hop in line at the drive-thru and, fingers crossed, I can order that. Okay, I finally got my food. I had to order it online because the drive-thru is not actually a drive-thru. It is a mobile order pickup only. <laughs> so, I parked and I mobile ordered and then I had to wait 10 minutes, but we got it. Okay, I am not a guac person. I am a queso person, but I'm sure this will be delicious regardless. Oh, and then it said a tortilla on the side, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. I'm not making a homemade burrito in the car, that's for sure. <laughs> Should I just like scoop it with it and eat it like that? <laughs> I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> all right, let's just take a bite of this. Where's all the rice? Okay. Mmm. Okay, well, this is probably a lot healthier than what I normally order. But I do miss the sour cream. <laughs> it is really good, though. It's, like, very fresh. 
and like refreshing tasting. Mm hmm. This is like the perfect lunch on a warm, sunny, on a warm, sunny day. I feel like I say that a lot, but I don't know, just like fresh vegetables just remind me of that. Like that's just, I associate, I guess, like fresh vegetables with just like warm weather. I don't think I've ever tried their pinto beans before, but they're pretty good. And I really like the fajita veggies today. Sometimes they're like super undercooked, so they're very crunchy. And uncooked peppers and onions have a very different flavor than cooked ones. Mm. Okay. Should we try to do something with this? <laughs> okay, this is like <laughs> the most, <laughs> the saddest tortilla. There's like white rice stuck to it. All right, it is hot. It is on fire. Ooh, okay. It actually, I thought it was going to like rip. I wish it said chips on the side and then I could scoop my chips in. All right, should I just, how the heck am I going to scoop this? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on the fork and I'm going to scoop it that way. This, there is no way this is the way they intended it to be eaten, but we're just going to roll with it. <laughs> There's no rules here. Okay, that was actually really good. Though this is not something that I would typically order, like I said, I love queso and sour cream and like the cheese and I guess really everything that makes it super heavy and really bad for you. <laughs> but that's typically what I love in my burrito bowls and this had none of that, but it was really tasty. It's super refreshing. I would say lunch was a success. Really this video so far has been a total success. I feel like there's not a single thing that I got that I didn't like. And a lot of the things that I did order, I never would have ordered on my own. Um, but we have one more stop before the end of this video. So I will see you guys there in a bit. Last stop of the video is Burger 25. So I've gone here a couple of times in my videos. If you don't know, they are a local burger shop that has 25 burgers a month, which is why they're called Burger 25. And then they always have specialty milkshakes and the milkshakes are always these crazy concoctions and they change every month. So since we're in the beginning of April, they came up with new milkshakes and their sign says something about Dunkaroos. So I'm hoping their social media has a Dunkaroo milkshake or some sort of that because I feel like that would be so freaking good. So I haven't used Facebook yet to decide what I'm going to eat. So they have a Facebook page. We're beating the crowd to barbecue season with this hearty masterpiece. The brisket mac burger is surely a showstopper. The brisket mac, it's back. The barbecue lover's dream. We start with our seasoned Angus burger topped with cheddar cheese. We add our house-made slow roasted beef brisket doused in our signature barbecue sauce, some mac and cheese, and finish it off with smoky aioli, all served on our fresh baked Reno onion bun. Holy moly. Okay, I don't really like brisket that much or like barbecue sauce that much, but it is their burger of the month, so I feel like we have to get that. And then their milkshakes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm finally getting a milkshake. I've only been trying for two whole days. Introducing your April shakes of the month. Okay, so what do they have? They do Dunkaroos. They have a Dunkaroo milkshake. Oh my God, we're so getting that. Okay, what else is there though? Chocolate cake donut collab with Opco's Donuts. 
Raspberry chip. Ooh, I love raspberry chip. That's also probably so good. Um, peanut butter, banana slice. Mm, no. Okay. We are totally getting a Dunkaroo milkshake because where else can you get one? You guys, we got it. Yes. Okay, so um, this thing looks literally beautiful. The only thing that stinks is they don't put like descriptions on their milkshakes. So I really don't know like what it's going to taste like. It looks kind of like a cake batter flavor. I mean, obviously it's Dunkaroo, but like, are there pieces of Dunkaroo in it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the little sprinkles are all throughout it, but the milkshake it ta itself tastes like a cake batter milkshake. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm in heaven. <laughs> mm. This is absolutely delicious. The only thing I don't love about it is like these sprinkles are very crunchy. Like they're kind of hard. So you get a lot of them in each bite. So it makes it like very crunchy and kind of like hard to chew. But the flavor of this is incredible. Mm. Okay, so this is the brisket mac. I don't know if I'm going to love this quite as much as the milkshake. Holy moly. Whoa. That is going to be so messy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got my hair back, my sleeves up. I'm ready to conquer this. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. We're going to get a big old bite with lots of mac and cheese in it. Mm. Wow. Okay, this is an insane burger. <sighs> you don't really get much mac and cheese. There's a lot of mac and cheese on there, but like the flavor of it really isn't there. It mostly just tastes like the brisket with the barbecue sauce, which makes sense because that's like a very um, like strong and bold flavor. Mm. It really is like a barbecue brisket lover's dream. <laughs> well, if you're ever at the Jersey Shore, make sure you add this stop to your list. They have so many burgers and chicken sandwiches and just so many, so many options, so many goodies. Everybody loves this place. Actually, because this place is so close to Freddy's, so many people in my town hate Freddy's because they compare it to here. I love Freddy's. They're just two totally different entities, but it is really good here. So like I said, if you're ever down by the Jersey Shore, make sure you check them out. Not sure a Dunkaroo milkshake will be a milkshake of the month if you do come, but I'm sure whatever they have will be delicious because they always are. <laughs> On that note, I am going to wrap this up here. This was a long two days. Kind of glad it's over. <laughs> I need a break from the fast food, but I had so much fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a switch up from the 24 hour videos, something a little bit longer and something a little bit more of a challenge. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, turn on your post notifications and subscribe because 
after this video i'll probably post one more and then i will announce the giveaway winner so we are almost there so make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already and the rest of the details are down below i appreciate you guys so much and i will see you all in the next one bye guys